Admit it. You took my wheels, and now they're lost in this... this vortex of chaos you call a room. I know the exact location of everything I own. Right, Jeffrey? Uh, Jeffrey? <gasps> Aha! Uh, you didn't see Blob Force Delta issue 16 down there, did you, Jeffrey? Huh? Ah! Ugh, you're a lost cause. Now, excuse me, we're entering the Bermuda Triangle. We're in the Bermuda Triangle already? Gangway! Whoa! Ugh. Warning, Aranax approaching. Maintaining stealth mode. Well, Proteus? Convinced yet? Hmm? Please, Alpheus. The Necton's presence hardly proves we're about to find Lemuria. Two different search methods have led to the same spot. If that's not proof, what would you call it? Jumping to an illogical conclusion. Arya, follow the Aranax. So, a Lemurian symbol smack in the middle of the Bermuda Triangle. Anyone else getting chills? We'll know what it means soon. Huh? Wow. What on Earth? What? Is that thing not a relative of yours? <sighs> Tell me we're gonna follow that? Following a mysterious creature into uncharted waters? It's kind of our thing. What? <gasps> Where did it go? Keiko, what's happening? I don't know. Full reverse. It's too late. Our momentum is carrying us through. What on Earth? Sensors indicate that Aranax has ceased to exist. What? what? My family are explorers. We have been for generations. While others look up to the stars, we know there are an infinite number of things that shine in the darkness below. There are things lurking in the seas that long ago vanished into myth. My family are the Nectins, and we explore the deep. There's more than one. Everything looks so weird here. It's like being stuck between asleep and awake. Awesome. Stuck might be right. The clock has stopped. Other instruments are frozen too. Fuel, temperature. No GPS, no sonar. Jeffrey, are you seeing this? Jeffrey, are you sick? Hmm, nope, just sideways. Okay. Well, that's creative. All right, let's back up. We don't know what we're getting into, but I'd like to be sure we can get out again. And leave the blob monsters? Temporarily. But there's something familiar about them. Oh well, full reverse. <laughs> Bobzilla's keeping pace without even trying, but we're not moving. I can hear the engines working. Maybe we're not even in water here. Oh, that's so cool. <sighs> there is something so wrong with you. Arya, take us forward. Inadvisable. The Nectons have been destroyed. Maybe. Or maybe they're finding Lemuria while you talk. Straight ahead slow, Arya. I strongly suggest we don't. Proteus, if we're both destroyed, I'll be the first to apologize. Promise. I don't believe what I'm seeing. Ugh, this can't be Lemuria. And where are the Nectons? We need to get our bearings. Prepare to vent ballast tanks and surface.
we should be rising to the surface. Provided there is a surface. Huh? Ew. Wait a minute. I know a way to find out more. This doesn't even feel like water. We're weightless. No propulsion necessary. Slow and steady is not a race. It's a fact-finding mission. Well, fact one. Our radios work. Mom, do you read me? Loud and clear. Let's ease away from the Aranax. Okay, fact two. Something's kind of pulling us away out here. Whoa! How long is this tether? 50 meters. Why? <laughs> you guys are dots. Perspective must be warped here. Or space itself. Hmm. Fact three. Time isn't frozen, just incredibly slow. Whoa! Uh, <laughs> uh, fact four. Uh, plop monsters are much weirder up close. Wait a minute. I think I remember where I've seen them. There's no resistance here at all. Uh, maybe it's a huge air pocket. Or a vacuum? Then why are we floating? We don't float inside the Aranax. Maybe inside and outside are just different here. <laughs> This is so awesome! I do recognize these! Yes! Tardigrades! Earth's toughest organisms. Also known as water bears, they can survive in the harshest conditions, even the vacuum of space. How have I not seen these before and dreamed of riding one through space? Because usually they're microscopic. But these are huge. Mine's blue. It's upside down and it looks like it's about to sneeze. Wait. Does yours have a broken tooth? How did you know? Because I'm looking at it. The same one. Except it's right side up for me. <laughs> Hi, Dad. Looks like you're both upside down. <laughs> this place is mind-bending. <sighs> That's not a good sound. Submarines shouldn't creak. Okay, I want everyone back inside where things aren't Quite so mind bending. Agree. Well, it was nice to meet you, Mr. Water Bear. Thanks for showing us your home. Hey, where are you off to? Huh? Ah, oh, ah, no, no, stop! stop! Hello, Ed. Huh? Enjoying floating helplessly? Alpheus. That's my name. Mom, Dad, are you hearing this? Ooh, no, they can't. I'm jamming the signal. They can't detect me. What are you doing here? I'm here for the same reason you are. The ongoing search for Lemuria. Well, I haven't noticed any ancient civilization since I've been here. It's hard to search for Lemuria when your sub can't even move. My working sub will get me out of here in no time. Huh? Sounds like your working sub might not be working so well. Arya, take us away from here. Have fun with your blob creatures, Antaeus. Uh, they're called tardigrades? Yeah, whatever. You are totally stranded. Ant, come in. Ant, do you read? Here, Mom. Why haven't you returned to the Aranax? I'm coming. And I've got news. And then he just zipped off. So his sub is jet-powered, like the knights. Jets work, but propellers don't. Why? Propellers need a medium to pull themselves through, like water or air. But jets are action-reaction. They blast stuff out, and the reaction pushes them forward, even in a vacuum. Okay, but how can a vacuum exist at the bottom of the Atlantic? It can't, obviously. That's why it's so cool. Duh. So... Having been here for three whole seconds, what else have we learned? Not much, but maybe the tardigrades can teach us more. That creaking is getting louder. I cannot currently detect its source. Who cares about the creaking? Just find a way out of here. Extra dimensional forces are distorting my data, and I detect no rifts or exits out of the nebula. Oh, what use are you? According to this, tardigrades can also be found in moss, earning the name Moss Piglet. I agree, Jeffrey. 
I prefer water bear. No! Ant! Uh, hi. What are you doing? I, I just thought this place is so weird, I might not need wheels. <laughs> Fontaine, you're thinking like me. Ugh. I'm blaming this place. It's clearly distorting my thinking. Huh. You may be onto something, Fontaine. Jeffrey's been behaving a little funny, too. <gasps> Wait a minute. I've got it! Exactly the same angle. They're both swimming upside down. And? It can't be a coincidence. Jeffrey and the Tardigrades are clearly tuned in to something that we're not. If we turn upside down, we might tune in, too. I could use the maneuvering thrusters. They're jets. They'll work. Turning us upside down. Hang on tight. Hold on! It's working. We're lining up with Jeffrey. Ugh. Whoa. Jeffrey, you're right side up. And so are we. We're back online. But how? If you can tune in and shift with the energy, everything works. Didn't I say it? I'm bending. Huh? Oh, wow. Wait, is that? <gasps> it's ancient. And it looks Lemurian. But what happened to it? Looks like we're not the first ones to get lost in here. Mom, that noise is really starting to worry me. Something is very, very wrong. Air leaks detected. Air leaks? Aria, what's going on? The vibration appears to be caused by the expansion of the hull. Wait, the hull is expanding? How? Specifics unknown, but the effect is increasing. Data simulations show the expansion will build until it pulls us apart like that. Look! My ball! Ah! We have to get out of here. Why hasn't the Force expanded them? It has. Tardigrades are so tough they'll adapt to anything, including slowly being expanded to the size of an elephant. Look, over there. The Tardigrades seem to be finding a way out. What about the steering jets? Could they get us out? No, only the props control forward and backward motion. Wait, I figured it out. Here, we can't think our way to a solution. But we don't have to, because they already know it. They do seem to come and go at will. But they're rudimentary organisms. They don't have the brain power to... Not brains, instincts. And Jeffrey's been in tune with them from the start. My fish's instincts can lead us home. <laughs> Maybe he can. You're agreeing with me? Apparently. And that worries me. Jeffrey, come on! But Jeffrey can't survive in a vacuum. It's okay. There's something I've been dying to show you. Trust me. Scariest two words ever. I have detected the Ajax in the area. Arya, did you just call the Aranax the Ajax? Why would I need an axe? Huh? Get us closer. I want to listen in. What is glistening? Arya, I said listen in. Your breath smells fine. Taking us closer to the hacky sacks now. <sighs> Arya, just reboot yourself. I'll take manual control. Okay, rebuking now. All right, everyone. May I present to you the Jeffrey Knight! It's been a secret project for ages. What better reason to finish it? Are those my skateboard wheels? Uh, it's called teamwork. You actually think Jeffrey's instinct can lead us to the gateway? I keep saying it. Have faith in the fish. How are we hearing them? Do some Their voices make vibrations Jeffrey in the windows, and the laser measures them. In the first ever fish-led exit strategy. Did he just say? Fish-led 
exit strategy? Yeah, but how is that even possible? What good is attaching the tow line to the Jeffrey Knight? The laws of physics don't apply in here. Jeffrey can tow us. Jeffrey's just playing out there. You've got a remote. Use it. I can't. We have to trust Jeffrey's instincts. That's what'll get us home. Ugh, great. Our lives are in the hands of a fish. No, they're not. Fish don't have hands. I don't believe it. Have I said this is mind-bending yet? Our knights could pull faster. Don't mess with what's working. You're doing it, Jeffrey. Come on, eyes on the prize. Now go, go, go! Look up ahead, in front of Jeffrey. Do you see that? The space in front of him looks distorted. It's gotta be the rift. Impossible. The fish knows where it is. <laughs> there goes a panel. Don't worry, there are three layers between us and the outer hall. For now. Air leak. Come on, Jeffrey, I believe in you. Pressure's dropped 3%. Jeffrey's gone through! ETA to target 50 seconds. We'll still make it! Another breach! Huh? Ah! Ah! No, no, no! Thanks for pointing the way, Nectans. But Lemuria is my destiny, not yours. Good luck with your fish-led exit strategy. <laughs> Faith in the fish. Elpheus! Aria, status update. Normal ocean environment confirmed. We are exactly where we began our journey. You were wrong. Alpheus, Lemuria wasn't behind that rift. Your recklessness could have been costly. Arya, pick a direction and get us out of here. Quickly, ready the knights. Won't the knights get pulled apart too? Eventually. They've been out there once already, so you'll have to be quick. Jeffrey is stronger now that he's in water. We just have to reattach the cable. We don't have to do anything. I'll reattach the tether. You're staying right here, safe in your nights. Okay, but I'll have to be on the bridge to keep us stable. You can't be on the bridge unprotected. I won't be unprotected. How are we doing out there? Approaching the first cable. And got it. Okay, moving to Jeffrey's cable. Be careful. I've lost one of my jets, and no longer have the power to pull the Aranax myself. I can't reach it. I have to let go of the cable to get it. Will, we can't lose you. But if we lose Jeffrey's cable, we could be lost forever. I have to get it. I've got it. I've lost power. I can't get back. Hang on, Will. I'll get you. Hang on, Dad! We're coming! Can't! What are you doing? You shouldn't be outside. It's too dangerous! There's not enough time, Mom. Hold on, Dad! Mm. Oh, no! What's happening? We've lost power! <laughs> Dad, your power reserve! See if you can shoot a cable! Good thinking! Much longer. Dad, tug the cable. Let Jeffrey know we're ready. We're moving again. Come on, Jeffrey. You can do it. Don't stop. Do not 
Let go, kids! You're almost there. We're in water again. Good to be back in water, but we need to surface. Everyone, grab onto the cable. How does it feel to be a hero, Jeffrey? He doesn't want us to make a fuss. Clearly, life is impossible in places like that. Unless you're tardigrade. So all of these symbols mean treacherous waters. Agreed? They're definitely not the way to Lemuria. But one of these other symbols must be. But how do we know which one? Simple. We search them all.